What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to EWC, Empire Watch Club. What's up, guys? So the three of us are finally together talking about watches. You know, we're going to talk about why people get into watches, why watches might be a good idea for an investment. In particular, Rolex. We'll just kind of wing it and talk about it. Okay, so uh, he sh just showed up in my house today and wanted to do this. <laughs> uh, I'm unprepared. I am into watches, but I, I'm not like a fanatic like these guys. In fact, I had forgotten even um, the serial number to this watch. But uh, reference number. Reference, number. reference, number. reference number. See, <laughs> see, see, I'm not a huge watch guy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm much more into cars and surfing. But uh, true. Uh, um, yeah, but, but you like watches. I do like watches. Uh, but for, for me, I was just telling Chris more about as a this. decor. It's more decorative for me. Yeah. You know, I, I wear it as more for fashion. You know, um, I do like nice things, but uh, you know, they aren't the measure of me. Uh, even if these things disappeared, I would still be me. Uh, that's something that I've said on Instagram, right? But uh, back to what Sunny was saying. Yes, I think when people get into society, I think uh, instead of you know throwing your money away at cars or like you know clothes or going out, I think buying a watch is a pretty good investment, especially with uh, inflation uh, at what it is now. You know, this is a one six eight one eight, right? Is that one? Uh, one six six one eight. So, uh, I don't yeah. know. Is that one six okay. six one eight? Anyways, <laughs> somebody tell me. Okay, this is all right. Uh, this watch I bought maybe two and a half years ago, uh, right when the pandemic was starting. I think I bought it for a little sweat. 20,000 USD and it's worth that's fucking cheap though. It's worth what? One yeah, point? Well, I would say it's a little over 1 million now NTD. Okay. Okay. So basically I close to doubled my money. You know what I'm saying? But you did get an amazing deal. I did get an amazing deal. I bought it off my brother. <laughs> Shout out to Jerry yet. You know, uh, <laughs> you should have sold it to me, Jerry. Come Anyways, on, big bro. Other watches I've made money on. Like I told you, man, it beats inflation for sure. It's better than putting the money in your bank or spending it on clothes and cars and going out. That's my take on it. What do you yeah, guys? man. What do you think, Chris? Well, of course, uh, I, I think Rolex is one of the best investments you can do in the watch market. Like besides, of course, you have the flashy and more fancy pieces like AP and Patek out there. But I think solid piece, most reliable piece is a Rolex. So I also wear this one almost every day. I got other watches as well, but this is, I think, a 114060. So this is a Satmarina No Date, the very original Satmarina. And I just think it's a perfect daily beater. It's uh, for me, watches is more like a it's a personality thing. It's like like what car you drive, what watch you wear. That says a lot about you, actually. That's that's my take on it. Huh? Now, I, I think the question was, uh, you know, why people buy Rolex. I had that a certain budget, and it was 2016, and I was like, I have to get something special for myself and something for my personality, something that suits me. I got two at once, so I got the Deep Sea that time, and I got the Daytona. And you got it at the AD? Yeah, I got it at the AD. I got it in okay. Singapore at Hourglass, and that was I, I was so proud of it. I, I remember that was when you could still get them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, just want, I just wanted so 2016. to 2016. get them anymore. Yeah. 2016, and I just wanted to say. I actually walked into Patek and they offered me that time uh, anonymous with discount and an Aquanaut. And I was like, no man, I'm gonna get my Rolex. <laughs> I'm waiting for my Daytona. And I thought that's a special thing because like, you know, Rolex is like one of the most gifted uh, presents you, you get when you turn 18 or when you like, when you achieve something. It's a coming so of age present. Definitely yeah. a statement as well. They set a symbol. And for me exactly, I, th I think also, um, the background, the history of Rolex, I like yeah. it very much. Found it from Hans Wilsdorf, a German guy. Okay. Which <laughs> not I knew you had that. You would know yeah. that. Of course, of course you had that. Yeah. 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 So for me, it's a little bit different. Uh, my dad told me a gold Rolex is too like when the Jeep and Quan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, true that. <laughs> you know, no, it's a status symbol, but it's also I, I, I feel like it's got it's got a little bit of a streetness to it. You know what I'm street saying? Nuts. Streetness, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's I mean, gangster. That's, that's, it's gangster. It's gangster. It's gangster. It's gangster. It's gangster. Yeah. And this is what you see in every movie on, on some some gangster. This is actually the second yeah. EWC thing I've ever done. And the first one that I've done, I talked about this, right? Yeah. You know, Paulu, so I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, it is. Uh, no, it, I, I agree well, with him because uh, I travel a lot and 
and every time I travel, I always take like one, two, three watches with me. No matter if I go to Dubai or London or even Philippines, I wear it just on my wrist because if you get robbed, like if your passport, everything is gone, you have you don't even have cash. If you have a Rolex, you just go to the next pawn uh, shop, 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 shop or whatever, and you, you get cash with it. True, but yeah. now people, but now people are stealing watches. So. Exactly, you have to be <laughs> yeah. careful. So now you got to be careful. Right. You know, right. so people are stealing watches, especially while traveling. Oh. So, but what what you're saying, going back to you know, it's a street cred thing, but also it, it has a store of value, mm -hmm. right? So it is a currency now. So why do people get Rolex? I feel like, uh, do you remember back in the day, even before the whole hype, mm -hmm. we would always say you get 80 cents or 85 cents back to the dollar, yeah, exactly. right? Now which you is, get above which is that not, probably. Yeah, you, you get at least your dollar back, yeah, yeah. right? At least your dollar back. But if you can get it at the AD, well, you're making money. If you get the secondhand market, go I, the I guess market. it depends, right? It depends on the watches, but gold watches, as you were saying, it's kind of like it's gold now. Gold has a standard currency, right? We, we look at it, um, it has its own index, so it is a currency. Watches, to me, have almost become a currency. And uh, I guess that's what you guys are saying too. You know, the way I look at watches sometimes is an investment. For me, to be honest, yes, I think it is an investment. Um, and I think Rolex is a very safe investment. Yeah. Now we have crazy inflation. But if you look at it from the flip side, as a brand, Rolex actually increases its MSRP every year by a couple couple percent, right? Yeah, I think up to five percent. Yeah, same thing with Porsche. You know, so that's why I always Germans. correlate these two. Porsche the Germans, and Rolex. Germans, yeah. They're always raising the MSRP, trying to beat the inflation. So when you're buying something, you feel like it's worth the value and the value will keep going up. So I think for you know all of our younger viewers out there, this vlog, I just kind of wanted to just let everyone know there's lots of perspectives yeah well, lots of different ways to look at watches and i think this is it's like a fucking luxury item right but they have to understand that with inflation and what it is now it is a solid investment it's better than putting the money in your bank True. you're losing money like in the bank you know what i'm saying if inflation is seven percent eight percent ten percent eleven percent that means $100 saved in the bank last year is only worth $89, $90 this year. You and, know what I'm saying? And you're not getting that much interest. Yeah, you're you're not getting any interest, you know? And, and I don't even want to get into all of the banking problems that yeah. we're seeing yeah. throughout the world. Yeah. Um, this topic we can actually talk about. Well, let's just talk about watches. Yeah, let's think the watches. So watches, I mean, it's better than putting it in the bank, okay? So why not, right? Uh, Rolex, you, uh, I'm, I'm looking for a fucking plug. Yeah, man. Rolex, <laughs> hook us up. Hook us brother. up, dog. Hook us up. Take yeah. us to Geneva. Yeah. You know, like, like I want to go to Watches and Wonders, all right? <laughs> Take us. Yeah. And, and another thing for me is uh, the reason I buy Rolexes, I, I feel like there are there are more expensive Rolexes. He buys like the rarer shit with like, but for me, I feel like it's like a range to be out. Right? I mean, these guys are, he's wearing like fucking each and one I mean, how do you even wear that out? So for me, I love watches so much. So I always try to, you know, find or seek out something super rare. You know, it's just like maybe you with art. You know, like you love art so much because you see the value in it. Well, it just you makes know, me feel a certain way when I look at it, right? Exactly, yeah. right? But how do you let go of something? Mm -hmm. Because you know, when, when you guys are going to buy your first nice luxury watch, um, are you going to keep that forever? That should be something that you should think about. Like for him, he is a hoarder. He doesn't sell, he just buys and buys and buys. You sometimes, you know, you buy to a certain point and then you sell and you get something else that you like. But your cycle is every three to five years, something like that. Something like that. But him- I buy the watches not yeah. as an investment, as I, as I said, if I like a watch, and I wear it. I do everything with my watches. I really go diving with, with my uh, rose gold AP. I just see them as a tool watch. Yeah, because you, you actually use it. Yeah, you love it, cool. you, you make yeah. the money. So I think all different perspectives are all good. True I, story, yeah. true story. Uh, uh, my my 40 millimeter day date, um, I got drunk over one, last Christmas, a couple Christmases ago, I, I knew I was drunk and uh, next morning uh, the glass broke. You still uh, have that photo. I. Somewhere, I'll plug it in for you yeah. guys. Uh, and the next morning when I woke up, when I saw the broken glass, and, and then like I, I sent it to Woody to get fixed, 
。And、uh, so 我那只表是事故车了，没错啦。So 我也不会卖，所以你也不会买到事故车，你不用担心。But <笑>我的隔天早上起床，我发觉就是我戴这个 Level 的表差不多，<笑>因为也没有不会很痛。呃、uh, ，如果再贵一点，我就会太痛了。所以 Yeah, yeah. man. So I I they're、yeah. so careful with their watches. Yeah, I'm, I'm very careful. 会包膜什么的。Well, I mean, hey, even well, this, I'm a fucking brute with it. This、right? is the、uh, the yellow gold Daytona. Black dial with diamond markers. I I did, I did put protective wrapping over it, even though it's an everyday watch for me. But I just yeah, I, I protect my watches, man. Yeah, he takes a super good care. Good care. So his watch belt okay, man. I got a baby. I got a baby. My watches. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another perspective. Like if you look at watches, it's、uh, it's also the story behind it. Like how did you get it? What happened to it on the journey? Well, I think that's the part where something is meaningful,、oh. you know, and.、Uh, If you get into a nice watch, whether it's Rolex or not, when you have a nice watch, there's a lot of meaning behind it, right? I remember my grandfather gifted me a watch when I、uh, graduated high school. It was actually a Cartier. Cartier. Yeah, I got a Cartier, and then I also got、uh, a Rolex. There are sentimental value for some watches, but I, I do think another reason that people get Rolex is just to show off. Yeah. To be honest, right? Guess even oh,、uh, I mean it's recognizable, right? It's a recognizable it's a logo and it's brand, yeah. right? I mean it is shallow, materialistic, but I mean I get it, I understand, right? And I and I, you guys, come on, you've seen people out there just they're always just like they want people to notice, like you know. You know what the funny thing is?、Uh, when you wear a gold watch and you're like talking to someone and then your wrist comes out, you'll see his eyeball. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 You you'll see, see the eyeball like, 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 like scan cat, it, like, like oh okay. The cat goes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll look at it and then like okay, and then、yeah. they'll kind of measure you up, right?、Uh, yeah. I mean, sadly, that's what society is.、Um, I, I don't think that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a true thing. So. I mean, play the game, right? Fake it till you make it, brother. It's it's a good place to put your money if you have extra money and you're not breaking the bank, right? And、uh, it, it is a better investment than other things that you can spend your money on. You know, you can't go wrong with the Rolex, to be honest with you. You you just can't. You know, we do get a lot of people asking us, "Hey, what watch should I get as my first watch?" Or do you think that you know a Rolex would be better than blah 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 or something? You know, I I get a lot of these questions and comments. If you do have the capability of spending it on something. Uh, yes, you could look into a Rolex, but just love what you get and enjoy whatever you get, and wear it in good health. We talked a lot about Rolex, but in the end, just get whatever you deserve and what you think is good for yourself and what you like. I'm gonna give myself another drink. Peace out. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Peace.